I was actually in the QA department when Shadow of the Colossus was be first being released on PS2 back in 2005. Like, there was nothing else that could match it. Yeah. I remember a couple friends showing me Shadow of the Colossus, and it was early on in my game career, and just being absolutely blown away. I thought that it was really exciting to be able to climb on top of the Colossus, to actually basically be on top of a moving, dynamic level. It's memorable. You never forget the wow factor that goes through your mind and through your heart as you're standing on top of this thing as it's trying to shake you off. I think the game left such a mark on people because it was a tragic story. Your connectedness with Wander and Agro. As you go through the game, these two characters grow and their bond is ever apparent. Yeah! The art style they'd chosen for the game left such an indelible mark on my soul as a gamer. It's funny, like, breaking it apart and actually looking at what they did with what they had. It's like a magic trick, you know, where you're like, oh my god, I've never seen anything like that. I have to know, like, how they did it. They really did something that nobody else had done before. It's pretty significant to me. I played it a ton, and to land back on it was kind of the dream project for me. It's really cool to get to work on something that people hold in such dear regard. I see it as a very great responsibility and a great chance for us to do the right thing for this title. It was an absolute honor to work on this project. It's so cool, man. It's like a once in a lifetime thing.